The annual FIRST Robotics Competition is an exciting multinational contest that brings together high school and college students and their robots from around the world. The competition drives young people to solve engineering and design problems in an intense and competitive way and, in the process, learn about real-world teamwork and a wealth of other valuable skills. Many teams consist of students from top engineering schools such as MIT and Carnegie Mellon University. But last year, four students from Carl Hayden Community High School in Phoenix, Arizona, took part in their first competition of this type and showed that talent, teamwork, and determination can succeed in many different ways. We had done the regular high school robotics competitions for two years. We heard about this underwater robotics competition. They have a high school level, they have a university level. Each kid chose to do a specific set of tasks, and that was their, their objective. When I joined the robotics club, my skills were engines and nuts and bolts and all that, putting the, them together. My role is more in the electrical systems, where I'll do like the wiring schematics for the cameras and figure out why something isn't working. I was the one doing most of the, like, lifting out of the water and all that. I was in ROTC for four years, so I knew how the chain of command went and how to work with people to lead them to achieve something. The major part of our success is that the kids realize that they have to take on a role. It's not the teacher doing something or two kids doing something and everyone going along for the ride. Everybody that's in the team realizes that it is a team effort. One kid will come in and work on one thing and as they're leaving they'll come in the doorway and tell me what they did and that then they know the next person's coming. That person will check in with me and I will tell them where the other person left off. Well, we debated about whether or not to enter the uh, high school category or the university category. So we thought, well, if we enter the university category, you know, you get beat by MIT, you don't feel that bad. I mean, they're supposed to beat you. Trying to come up with the final design for anything was difficult. All of us not having really underwater robot experience, you might question how valid that argument was, but we'd, we'd have a certain amount of logic that we depend on, and that's what we use. We looked at the other ROVs. They were pretty sophisticated, nicely machined, uh, professional parts, and ours was made of PVC plastic, painted with a spray can. So ours didn't look as neat as everybody else's. We were having two problems. One was a leak that we had occurred during practice. We ended up finding out that the Pelican case we were using was discontinued, and it was because they had leaked. <laughs> The other problem was our ROV was acting very funny. We'd want to go forward, it, would, it wouldn't do what it was supposed to do. We didn't want to go forward, it was going forward. So we ended up searching for ways to fix it. We ended up dividing ourselves into tether and uh, control systems. That way it helped us figure it out. It wasn't the control system, but it was the tether itself. So we went into the, the, the performance part of the competition. The kids were not able to do every task that we had hoped, but they did do some of the tasks and they were accumulating points. At the end of the competition, the performance, we were in third place, but we were ecstatic. The kids had to do a technical presentation and the judges tended to be people in the underwater industries. They were supposed to take about a half hour for the whole process. We were watching other teams go in and they'd stay in for maybe almost up to an hour. So our kids came out after 25 minutes. We split the questions among the four of us, so we all presented different parts of the robot. If the judges wanted a more precise answer, I'd be one of the ones to answer. They said there wasn't a question they couldn't answer, that the, the judges would start to ask a question and they'd answer it before the judge would finish it. And we're thinking, wow, either these kids are really delusional or we, we did very well. We felt like we had nailed it. We, we thought we could be good. When they announced second place as MIT, None of us could speak. You could cut the tension with a knife. And then there was the buildup. And the first place is, and they got the word Carl out, and we were going crazy. It was just an amazing feeling huh? how all the hard work paid off. Being proud of them, it doesn't even come close. It's a little more than that, because the kids have done way beyond what they thought they could do. The biggest thing that we see team-wise is that everyone understands their responsibilities and roles on the team and sees that they can participate and be a contributing member to a successful team. It's contagious.